What's up guys? Just coming to you with a really quick tutorial today on how to fix your custom fonts to show on the front end. Now there's three common issues um, that are typically or are the cause of this. Uh, typically it's a mixed content error, meaning that you're, you have an SSL, so your HTTPS um, that isn't loading with the custom font. So let's just hop over to the web and I'll show you through kind of the three specific things that you need to do. Um, and the first option will be the quickest and hopefully fix the issue right away. So let's jump over to it. Okay, guys, now that we are over here, font of this funky kind of 70s type font, let's hop over into the back end. Um, we see that I have uploaded it here. Now here is where you can see that the HTTPS isn't loading. So the way to basically get this to load, as you can see, it's like not showing it in the preview. You can actually go into Elementor and do a search and replace, basically just search and replace and force, force this to be HTTPS. But then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go into your general settings in WordPress and actually switch this. So this, even if you do it to search and replace, um, but you don't do this yet, you will see it in the back end, but it still won't load in the front end on your website. So go into your general settings in your WordPress, change it to HTTPS, save changes. Now, if we go back over to the LMS, <laughs> Elementor custom fonts, you'll see that it's still not showing. That's really weird. So what we're gonna do, um, again, you can do a search and replace in and do this, or you can simply delete and re-upload the font here. Boom, um, re-upload that. Now we have the HTTPS still not showing. Let's just click update. Boom, now it's working. Let's hop over onto the page, um, reload this. And now you see it is working. Um, I can even preview and it should show on the front end. So that's the number one issue or that's the number one way to fix it. Um, second thing you may have to do is actually reload your CSS. Um, you can do that in Elementor tools. So let's just hop back into the back end here and reload our CSS, show you how to do that. So go to tools here, regenerate files and data. So this will reload all your data, all your files and your CSS. So that's another um, thing to do. And then lastly, if you do all of this and still aren't seeing it on the front end, but you see it loaded in the back end, go into your hosting provider and go and reset uh, that cache. That should that should fix all your issues. Issues. Speaking of hosting providers, we use SiteGround. We've used SiteGround for quite a long time. I mean, we probably used it for six years or now. So um, we've had a, hundreds of websites on there. We build every client website on there first. That's where we had staging links anyway. Um, super easy to set those up, uh, super easy to start other hostings, um, never had any issues. It's dedicated WordPress hosting, super fast, highly recommend it. There's an affiliate link in the description, helps us out if you guys go sign up and want to test it out. Um, it's fantastic hosting, their help's amazing. Honestly, their help's the best part. Like if I'm confused on something or I'm moving something over and then something ends up breaking and I'm looking through it and I can't figure it out, I'll hit up their host and more often than not, they'll just solve it for me if I can't figure it out. So. Um, thank you guys. Hopefully we'll be bringing you more interesting tutorials soon, not just really quick fixes, but I like to make tutorials and stuff that I run into because it saves, it would save me time if I found this video. So thank you guys subscribe for more and have a good night day.